For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. John 3.16 and 17. Good morning, YouTube, my beautiful, wonderful, precious, amazing, glorious brothers and sisters. On this Thursday, October the 12th, 2017, gather around, pull up a chair, let me know what are you going to share with Pastor Dave as we begin our day together. Let me know. I'm having coffee with cream, no sugar. Let me know in the comment section below what are you going to share? How do you take your coffee this morning? Let me know. Do you like Starbucks? Let me know in the comment section below. Hang on. Wildfires. Wildfires raging out of control. It looks like the apocalypse in California when you see the homes that are burnt to ash and vehicles that are just simply destroyed and melted. I seen on the news this morning a light post with part of a garage door hanging from it that was welded to the light post. Our prayers go out to the people in California. The wildfires. Never seen anything like it in all my days. Gather around this morning. I want to share my thoughts with all of you and uh, what's going on. We're so close to the imminent rapture of the church. If you are new to my channel, I don't try to have any gray areas except the gray on the side of my head. You see that? I got a haircut. Let me know. What do you think? I got my hair cut uh, more gray. So the only gray areas you're going to see are on the sides of my head. I want to be upfront and honest with all of my viewers and subscribers. When you tune in, I believe, as most of my viewers and subscribers, in the pre-tribulation, catching away, harpazo rapture of the church. And I have never seen anything like this. We are so close, closer than I think anyone has really any idea. It's time to really... Take a step back and really come to the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding that only Father God can give you. That Jesus is about to break the eastern sky. I see it with all the prophecy that's being fulfilled around the world today. I want to update everyone on our church. And I think you're going to find this simply amazing. I couldn't meet with a realtor yesterday. She had an appointment, but uh, Christy and I are going today at 4 o'clock p.m. this afternoon uh, to go in. And uh, if everything goes well, we're going to have to have, a, have it inspected, I'm sure, by the city, but I'm, I'm certain everything will be fine. And hopefully we will get the keys, and there's going to be a lot of planning to get ready to open this church. We need a lot of things. There, there are no chairs. I'll get in there today and see what we need, and uh, um, we're going to do our best to get that uh, church that fellowship up and running as quickly, ASAP, as soon as possible. What I didn't realize is sitting next to the General Motors, get this, the General Motors um, Union Hall, and there is uh, some statues dedicated to the sit-down strike right next door to the church, just directly behind. is a whole area, and I'll take some pictures, with statues depicting right where the workers went out on strike that caused all of this, the General Motors, to pack up and leave the city of Flint. Tell me God is not in the midst of this. Amen. <laughs> and amen. I'll keep everyone updated. I still have a feeling it's already the 12th, somewhere between the 11th and 15th, um, something major. And I know we've got these uh, wildfires in California and it's tragic but I think something even bigger keep your eye on Israel keep your eye on Donald Trump keep your eye on North Korea I don't know what's coming if nothing happens my birthday is October 16th Monday I, I will do what others refuse to do if nothing happens in that time frame Monday the 16th I believe it's Monday I will come on and do an apology video and repent as I always have. We all make mistakes, but uh, we have to live up to our mistakes. But I still feel something is coming. 
We're going out with our ministry this morning in Flint, Michigan, to the homeless. Keep our ministry lifted up in prayer. We need blankets. We need coats. We need hats. We need scarves. We need boots. When I get this church, and I'm being positive, when I get this church, it'll be what a wonderful resource for the poor and the homeless in that community, right, right in the heart of where our homeless ministry outreach is. We'll have a storehouse. We'll have a food kitchen, a pantry. We'll have a clothes closet. We'll be able to blanket the homeless this winter. We need your help. We need a lot of things to move into this church. If you would like to help donate, all the links to how you can support this ministry will be below this video. Right above where you leave your comments in the show more section, just click on where it says show more and there you will be able to help support this ministry. I'll be back in a little while. God bless you.